What in the world? It's 53 degrees out, out in the greenhouse and it's 27 degrees outside? I figure either something major has changed in the greenhouse and I have a magical rocket stove that appeared overnight or I just have some plants to sell this year and I got to get them out in the greenhouse and I'm cheating. Here, let me show you what I'm doing. So what in the world is this fool doing now? So here I am out in the greenhouse, had to make a, an update. The way I figured is uh, I really don't care what Mother Winter wants to do. Uh, she is not gonna delay me getting my plants out in the sun out of the garage. So on the second day of spring, we had a snow. And today it's snowing a little bit, but the sun is out. So I really don't care what Mother Nature wants to do. I'm out here cheating in the greenhouse. So this is what I came up with. I finally put an upper shelf on the greenhouse and this is what I'm going to use it for. Uh, some a, a temporary way to uh, to keep a group of plants out here warm. So anyway, this is the top of the, the greenhouse here and we've got a shelving system in plastic. This is dollar store plastic so I'm not trying to spend a whole lot fighting the winter. Winter's not that smart. I figure I can outsmart her. I'm going to do my best anyway. So this is dollar store plastic. One sheet. Uh, I think it was 12 by 9. I cut it in half so I have two 12 inch long sections. So I have 24 feet. And what I did is I snaked this down along the bottom of the shelf so it can fold over and make a tunnel. And what I've got here is all my cold plants in the back. i got my Swiss chard. I got my brassicas and my uh, cauliflowers and my lettuce and some more brassicas and some, I think I got some snow peas or something in there and there might be some marigolds mixed in there and then you start to get into some of the warmer plants, the squash and the tomatoes and probably mostly tomatoes and peppers and squash and they come all the way down here to the end of the shelf <laughs> where I'm cheating. <laughs> So I'm cheating and I got this little dinky space heater out here and the uh, way I figure is Mother Nature is not going to win this winter. She, uh, she doesn't realize I got a whole army of YouTube friends who post videos and I think I cobbled together about three or four videos uh, and I got the idea of making this tunnel here. So I'll try to give you a shot of what the tunnel looks like when it's, uh, when it's all up but basically it's one piece of plastic sheeting it's a space heater and a timer not a timer a light sensor so when it's dark out heat cuts on it uh, blows air through the tunnel and over here on this end I leave about what is that about two two and a half almost three feet before the first tomato why because the heaters on low but even still I, I don't want to get in too hot uh, and what happens is it blows warm air down the tunnel and one of the concerning factors I had was the heat. I don't want it too hot and so what I did for the shelf is I just left a section wide open here so it's just two planks basically six inches wide. I think this is uh, decking. This is decking wood, decking plates and it just goes down so underneath I've got a little gap for air so it lets a little air up in between each each uh, each group of plants there's a little air pocket so cool air is getting in and I think I'm kinda happy with it last night it got down to 27 outside in the greenhouse I think it was about 31 32 but in my heat tunnel I'm gonna come up with a name for this thing in my heat tunnel it uh, the coldest it got was 51 degrees so I like it and I love it. I think I probably saw a few ideas I cobbled together how ineffective a space heater could be in a greenhouse but here in the early portions of spring and a late winter you know winters fighting to, to hang on we're still getting you know freezing nights so I figure a few uh, or I hope only a few nights a week I'll have this guy going. I'm not really worried about the energy consumption um, obviously because I got solar panels and I got a turbine that's not hooked up yet so I'm not really worried about that 
it was a cost that I'm already spending anyway because this is the little guy I was using as backup support in the garage for the garage uh, garden anyway and that's where most of these plants came from um, so the, the, the energy consumption doesn't bother me you know people think about well they talk about the investment well it's it's you know you're wasting money you're, you spend too much money on the garden stuff not really because the way I view it is uh, you know if I were buying a TV I'm wasting money but because I'm using energy and I'm buying things here for the greenhouse for the production of food guys that's that's not spending that's called total investment because you're either selling the stuff the food or the plants or you're eating it so that's a total investment uh, 100 percent so anyway worked out pretty well for me we'll see how it goes tonight last night I only had a a couple plants out here now I've got mostly a full row I think I need to add uh, probably add you know one more one more there on the end but you know it's just it's kind of loose and, and loose and hanging together what holds the tunnel up actually is the air that's coming from the heater it kind of makes it puff up as well as I've got garden twine so what I did at the top of the tunnel is I just taped a piece of garden twine on there and I've got this hanging up so when she goes up this I attach to the top up here and it just makes sure that the tunnel stays open air is constantly flowing through all the way on the end and it's not sealed again we've got cracks everywhere even on this side like yeah I've already got that one tucked under I tuck tucking the plastic under just under there just to make it look neat for the day and plus I'm gonna put a second shelf down there underneath a bigger shelf because this isn't this might be 25% of what I have here um, that I got to get out the sun porch, the garage, and the rest of the house. But um, so anyway, worked for me. I'm happy with it. Uh, I guess it's cheating. I really don't care. You know, winter's cheating. It's spring. It's supposed to be warm. Rita's water ice is giving away free water ice because uh, it was the first day of spring and it's still snowing. So I got to come up with something. But anyway, at the end of the tunnel air just blows right out and back into the greenhouse might keep the greenhouse a little warmer uh, don't need it during the day but it means that I'm not carrying all these trays out here um, uh, just as a good reminder appreciate it Bobby yeah I don't want to drop any trays so I figure the less trays I'm carrying the better and uh, because it's uh, I plan by now to already have the plants out it didn't work out that way again I'm experimenting here this is the first time I've had a greenhouse I don't know what I'm doing so I'm just kind of uh, coming up with things as I go and uh, because it's too cold to put the plants out here yet I figure I'll use this tunnel idea and what I'm gonna do is expound on it so I don't want to do this next year I think next year when I redesign the greenhouse I think I'm gonna just build in you know some little uh, some sort of plastic sheeting or tube that uh, kinda holds the heat in in some sort of tube section like this and that way uh, what should happen is when the air comes in from the the tubing that'll be snaked around outside maybe uh, 50 feet or 100 feet of it underground five feet it'll bring in air at 50 degrees bring all this air in right here at 50 degrees and this will be the entry point for the greenhouse and it should blow 50 degree air all the way down there so basically forming the same job as the heater except for it's not blowing you know 90 degree air it's blowing 50 and that should be enough I think to uh, maintain tomatoes uh, uh, and, and some uh, possibly some peppers throughout the winter in a passively heated greenhouse so I don't know if the fan blowing air in disqualifies me for passive but it's passive enough it's getting heat from the ground when it's freezing at night it'll keep this tube 50 degrees if not the whole greenhouse and it means that uh, uh, during the daytime it's 90 the tomatoes are growing and happy at nighttime it's 50 they're not happy but they're not sad either so uh, anyway that's what I came up with that's what I'm just wrapping up here today now I need to run and run some errands and put together a latch for the greenhouse door and uh, anyway thanks for watching